We don't have time for, for bread to rise at all. We have to get up out of that. See? It was time to go. It's like when it's time to go, most I say it's time to move, you gotta be ready to move. And it's time to go, we make it a move. Be ready. Be ready. You see, some of you not ready, you're gonna still be following the way of the world. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna lead you in the wrong direction. Read that. 26, 26. Say Matthew 26 and 26. I'm sorry, give me uh, one of your doctors, ignorance and the key kingdom for us. I want to deal with that for never. I'm going over here. 
here, over there, all, all around. I've always been kind of spiritual in my own way in life. So I want to know what this is talking about. And I know pretty much in part, and we prophesy in part, but it's enough to know the way to the kingdom. What pleases the Most High? That's what I look for. What pleases Him? When is the Most High going to have pity on us? When are you going to look down upon us and say, I want to make sure that I take care of you? Because you love me. He loved us. So much that he gave his only begotten son. Much that God I said, oh, Father, let this cup pass from me. Let that will be done. Do y'all know what this Bible says? The most I said, it pleased him to bruise my El Shah. Did any of y'all see that picture of moving passion? It was a beat down from the beginning to the end. That they showing you the little what he went through. So as we just spent about his precious blood. They put a crown of thorns on his head. That's why you see these crowns, these crowns on there, man. They just beat it into his head. Took turns. Beat it into his head. When you go to the devil of a Mashiach that was shot. What he suffered for us. Nobody has his old thing. Because it's written in the Old Testament. You see? And here we are in these last days saying he's going to come back and save us from our enemies, from the hand of all that hate us. And not believing in him, not believing in the most high, not wanting no more. You think you, you think you're the devil enough now in your mind how you think to make it to the kingdom? Who can raise their hand and say yes? Hmm, I don't see no hands going up. See, we got the devil enough. And if you think you have, then you don't need to do it. What do you need this for? <laughs> you see, I mean, this, this is an ongoing process. Esau didn't even tell you you got to go to first grade or kindergarten, preschool. Now, I went to, I went to the flag. They was, they was pre that went on. They saw all the way to preschool. Like preschool and regular school, they had preschool and regular schools. And you should start with kindergarten. I know they have preschool and regular schools now. What age is that? Four? Four. Huh? Four years. So they become they can start school at four years old now. What are they doing now? They programming the people, the children, to not believe in the Most High, not to believe in the Mashiach El Shai. How you, how you gonna tell me that they are? They're not. They took the Most High and the Mashiach El Shai out to schools. So who they leave this? Yeah. Whether yeah. well, you want to accept it or not. And it's a diabolical plan in these last days to have them programmed to accept their way, all the way. And not this way. Much like I'm sure I said, I am the way. Are they teaching them that? No, not at all. It's another way. It's their way. That's why we hear because, go back to Isaiah 62. We hear because it said the whole world is in darkness, ignorance. Isaiah 16 and 2. Right. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. The darkness shall cover the earth. You know what darkness is? Ignorance shall cover the earth. Read. And gross darkness the people. And gross ignorance the people. Okay. Read. But the Most High of Hamashiach Jehovah shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Right. That's those that are going to continue in this work. This glory don't be seen on it. Well, how, how do we get into this darkness? Isaiah 47. So we're going to understand it's all here, it's just a matter of, it's like, this, this Bible is like a puzzle. It's like a formula, like a recipe. You see? How do we get in this dark? Isaiah 47 and 1. Isaiah 47 and 1. Mm -hmm. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. So say sit in the dust, I mean we'll be as come down and sit in the lowest state. The lowest state of the O virgin daughter of Babylon. Right? What do you say? Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. I'm flatlining you. You on the ground. You sit on the ground. You ain't nothing. <laughs> there is no 
no throne. There is no power and authority to do believe. Oh, God of the Chaldeans. Oh, Babylon Chaldeans, these are Ethiopians, related to the same people. Daughter of the Chaldeans, be. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Shall no more be called tender and delicate. Okay? So it says, virgin daughter of Babylon. So who is this daughter of Babylon? That's talking about here. So I'm going to take stuff. The Bible asks this stuff, like I said, it's a formula. You got to understand what we're here doing is bringing forth why are we in this angry state? Why are we in this angry state? Who is this burden down the Bible? Let's read Psalms 137 and 8 and 7. Remember, O Most High, the children of Edom. He said, Remember, O Most High, who? The children of Edom. He said, The children of Edom, read. And the day of Jerusalem, the day of Jerusalem, be, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. So they said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. And so remember what they did. What they're talking about. He said, the This is what they did, y'all. So remember, this is, this is, uh, but uh, David's recalled of what they did. Read that. First Ezra, chapter 4, verse 45. Thou also hast vowed to build up the temple which the Edomites burned when Judea was made desolate by the Chaldees. So when we were going into captivity, remember now we're dealing with the Egyptian captivity. So now but we were in captivity under the Babylonian Ethiopian for 70 years. So here we are now. At this time, he's speaking in the Persian Median power. We took down the Babylonian <coughs> Ethiopian to come into power. Now then the Greeks came into power, took down the Persian Median power. Then they came into the Romans. Then we took them down as the Israelites in 183 AD until approximately 1453 when they came out of the Cosmos Mountains as the other churches got 